Hi, this is Jesper Andreasson and Marcus Hatz. Uh, we have written an article titled Family Practices, Deportability and Administrative Violence. The idea was this ethnographic study came from an observation uh, where we followed a family who seeked asylum in Sweden. It was summertime and they were at the beach. The mother prepared a picnic and the father and two brothers were standing on the jetty. The two brothers were arguing whether to go into the water or not. And the older brother said, pretend if you jump, we get to stay in Sweden. If you don't, we will be deported. The aim of the study was to investigate how asylum seekers portray family life in relation to their decision to flee the country of origin and other ways of doing family life intersected with the Swedish migration context. So family practices and the risk of deportability was at the heart of that article and analysis and in which we followed asylum seeking families ethnographically. Deportability as a concept ca captures the uncertainty and the risk of de being deported regardless whether deportation happens or not which shapes individuals and families' life situations and consequently their family practices. The insecurity and the strain placed on people and their family bonds by current migration policies, laws and regulations can also be interpreted as a form of administrative violence. Deportability can as such be understood as a specific form of administrative violence, keeping families in limbo where they cannot work, make plans or settle. The participants' family practices became subsumed during the flight and were soon embedded in the conditions and uncertainty providing by the, provided by the Swedish migration context. These experiences and the risk of deportability gradually became embedded and embodied in the everyday practices of the families participating. The risk of deportation, the experience of migration, and not least the experiences of the Swedish welfare system were profoundly affecting the families, changing how people with migration backgrounds did family life. Thank you for listening on this short comment of our article, Family Practices, Deportability and Administrative Violence.